Labor and the expression of worth. Strengthening a tribe member deepens a tribe. Depth tribes feed the world. Creative nature. I see the light in you. Let it shine. I'd love to get in touch with that creative nature that, that you show to me, and that inspires my work. Mother against God. Hi, my name is Trav, Traveling Trav, and I'm learning to sing the transrational blues. Yeah, catharsis. Labor and the expression of worth. Trying times. Catharsis, catharsis. Do, 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 do. Catharsis, yeah. Faith and hope and love, my friend, my friend. Labor and the expression of worth. Together, we are discovering our common work, our common stories, and our common love. Remember you, I remember you. The greatest thing about what I do is the people that I meet. And Fant Will, I remember you. Fant Will sent me a message this morning. She says, that's a sweet van, man. I must have missed the story on your acquiring it. Fant is this lovely, incredibly strong, woman from New Orleans, met her down there at the Neutral Ground Coffee House, uh, working with Ashley Beach and others down there at the Neutral Ground. Uh, what a show of community and strength that I saw down there. Uh, so thanks for the inquiry, Fant. And I wrote her back on Facebook here. Fant will. I didn't really tell the story, but I did say goodbye to Little Blue. I guess you are helping me to realize that there is a story there. It's a story about me making a choice to move forward with what I perceive to be my calling. It's a story of support. It's a story of transition. It's my brother's story somehow. It's an untellable story right now. That's what I realized so quickly in my answer to you, and that's why I didn't tell it. I traded in my little blue car, which was one of the remnants of my past life. And the financial gift that I received from my mother allowed me to purchase this van outright. And that is more than I ever wanted to make public, but it keeps coming up, so there it is. <laughs> and so the commitment that I made in receiving that gift from my mother was also a commitment that I was making to my deepest self, because I knew that I could not allow myself to receive such an incredible gift and then give up on myself. Several people have asked me about the van, and I was not willing to confess what I just said to you now. This is a public forum, I know. My work is transparent to a certain extent, but to what extent does my art slash calling ask me to be transparent? Part of my story is the shame that I've harbored around my lifelong struggle to conform in repetitive work environments. Labor and the expression of worth is my effort to show that I am valuable and that my work is worthy of support. Got my boots on the ground. Mm. I got my boots on the ground. Mm. This has been a challenging composition, writing this to you this morning. But I'm glad you asked, and you, Fant Will, are important to me. We just briefly met in New Orleans, but I was so deeply inspired by the work that you and your community are up to. And thank you for your support. Thank you for caring about the story, and God bless you, my friend. Also, Mark Mead Miniatures donated the lettering. I did tell that story, and it was so fun to tell. And now that I have the lettering, it holds me accountable to the culture of depth and value that my heart longs for. And that is another beautiful part of the story. As a man, I did not want to identify ever with fragility, but I seem to be the one who started crying at basic training. But then again, do you know how difficult it was for me to get through basic training after having broken down in tears while in formation? I'm pretty tough. <laughs> I decided that I did not want the shame of quitting. I saw the men who quit and how they were forced to face us every morning, those of us who continued. That was very difficult ground for me to cover, that time under the fear-based tutelage of the military. Lord of the flies shit. Dear God. So. At the risk of my biological father storming into this public space and once again pointing his shaming finger, I share all of this with you today. <laughs>
I can be strangely intuitive and sensitive. I can also be incredibly strong-willed and self-flagellating in the tradition of all the ascetic teachers. I have a history of giving and selling all. Many of my friends describe me as either all in or all out. I'm grateful that you asked about the van because I needed to get this out. Much love to you always. There's another thing that I think deserves some attention here uh, in this paragraph where I'm talking about transparency in my work. When we're looking at transparency in public forums in this day and age with the internet, and um, I just watched a movie about that on Netflix. That was sure interesting. It dealt with this uh, transparency issue about how much we reveal uh, in our online work as a writer, as a singer-songwriter who's always been autobiographical, it's pretty natural for me to be revealing myself. I've always been revealing myself. It's part of my verbal practice. It's how I present in this world. I'm insightful as to the internal experience, and then I share that, inter that internal experience. And I do that with friends, and oftentimes, or, or sometimes, people will say that that is helpful. That many times in my life, people have said, you, you are um, intuitive and discerning um, as to the inner experience and the way you describe it helps me to understand myself. So uh, as I was saying, there's this, this thing about transparency, uh, transparency um, in our online work. Uh, there are people who are kind of geared to live uh, transparently, apparently, uh, to, but, but you can see me struggling with that here. There's this idea of social credit, right, that we're going to be working with. It's like, how do we make ourselves value on, how do we make ourselves valuable in an online environment? And you've seen me, if you've been tuned into my work, you've, you see me struggling with that all the time as an artist um, and as someone who's trying to really uh, struggling to monetize in this world. I'm trying to show some kind of value um, that community is willing to support. So uh, social credit and um, openness, transparency, vulnerability, Brene Brown stuff, you know, all in the line of like, um, how much do we share and where are our boundaries? And do we have these inner circles of people, these smaller tribes, like there may be groups of 12 and there's a group of 70 or how, how do these things work in our lives? I'm interested in your input. Um, if any of this sparks, uh, something in you. Thanks guys. Um, thank you, my friends. I am so grateful to be communicating with you today. I'm truly grateful to, to be still living in an environment where I have some kind of ex expectation of, of free speech. That's a really beautiful thing today. Oh, thank God. Thank you. We're holding on as long as we can. We're all gonna share the big, big love. El gran abrazo Gonna share the big, big love Gonna share the big, big hug Gonna share the big, big love Gonna share the big, big love All those little ways Everything I do Gonna hold on Gonna let go When appropriate Yeah